Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs of 2nd of January. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. Now we have started a new channel Civil Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now let's start. Which countries new rules on drones permit them to fly over people and at night in the country? So recently, FAA, that is Federal Aviation Administration of USA, approved these new rules and now it is permitted to fly the drones in night and the small drones will be allowed to fly over people. Recently, USA was also in news as the Fed Reserve or the Federal Reserve of USA joined NGFS. Recently, NGFS was also in news as Asian Development Bank became the observer of NGFS. Adopt a Heritage is a scheme implemented by the Ministry of Tourism in association with which Union Ministry. So, it is a scheme and for the scheme, Tourism Ministry has collaborated with Ministry of Culture. Idea is to protect our heritage sites. And for this project, the goal is to involve private players so that basic infrastructure can be developed at these heritage sites. And these private players are known as Monument Mitra. So, private players as a part of their CSR developed the basic facilities of toilet, drinking water at these heritage sites. What is CSR? It is Corporate Social Responsibility. Now recently, this initiative was in news as Tourism Ministry attended a review meeting for this and as of now, 25 heritage sites are covered under this Adopt a Heritage Initiative. Which country released a bill that would increase the monitoring of civil society groups? So, this has been done by Turkey and it has approved a new law that would increase the monitoring of civil society groups. Recently, Turkey was also in news as USA imposed sanctions on Turkey for S-400 missile defense systems. So, Turkey purchased these missile defense systems from Russia and in response to that, USA imposed sanctions on Turkey under Katsa. Katsa is countering American adversaries through Sanctions Act. So, it is a law of USA to penalize countries who do not follow the directions from USA and who are the adversaries of USA. Which country generated over half of its power from wind due to Storm Bella? So this country is UK. Now UK was in use because of the Storm Bella and it impacted the areas in France and in UK. So this was a high speed storm. Now UK did one amazing thing. They created a record of generating over 50% of their electricity from wind. Now, because of this contribution, it was the greenest year of UK. Why greenest? Greenest in the sense that the electricity was generated from renewable energy sources. UK was also in use as it is part of Five Eyes Alliance. Recently, Japan was in use because it intends to join this Five Eyes Alliance. The members of Five Eyes Alliance are UK, US, Canada, Australia and New Zealand. Pierre Cardin, who passed away recently, was the famous designer of which country? So, Pierre Cardin was the famous designer of France. Pierre Cardin passed away recently. Next question is, which organization released report on trends and progress of banking in our country? So, this has been released by our central bank, that is Reserve Bank of India. And this is a statutory publication. Statutory publication means it is published as per the provisions of law. What is the legal backing? It is Banking Regulation Act of 1949. So as per this act, this report is published and it is published by RBI. Recently, RBI was also in news as it decided to set up automated banknote processing center and this is going to be in Jaipur. Jaipur is in Rajasthan. Kuttanad, where over more than 20,000 ducks died recently is situated in which state of India. So it is situated in Kerala and recently it was in news because more than 22,000 ducks died in this region of Kerala. Now as of now the reason for death was not clear. Recently Kerala was also in news because of Arya Rajendran. So Arya Rajendran recently became the youngest mayor of India at the age of 21 and Arya Rajendran became the mayor of Thiruvandan Purum. Which committee recommended the 
NCMC that is National Common Mobility Card. So this was recommended by Nandan Nilekani Committee. Actually in 2019 RBI constituted a committee under Nandan Nilekani and this committee recommended NCMC. So this is a common mobility card. What does that mean? Suppose you are traveling through auto then after some time you took a bus and then you took a train. Now with the help of common mobility card you can pay in all these transport mechanisms. That means in auto also you can pay through this card, in bus also you can pay through this card and in train also. So this will be like a single card which will be functional in all mediums of transport. Now why it was in news recently because recently Prime Minister launched this NCMC service for airport express line of Delhi Metro. Recently Prime Minister also launched India's first driverless train and this driverless train is on the Magenta line of Delhi Metro. Malayali tribe are the tribal people belonging to which state? So it is related to Tamil Nadu and it is a tribal group in Eastern Ghat and this tribe is found in the northern Tamil Nadu. Now why it was in use? Because recently giant rock bee honey from this tribe was added to Tribe India collection. Now what is this entire issue? See Tribal Affairs Ministry collect and add the products from different tribes. Why this is done? This is done to promote the different products by different tribal groups. So the objective is to promote the tribal products and as a part of this initiative giant rock bee honey which has been collected from Malayali tribe that means Malayali tribe people are the collectors of this honey and then they sell it. So this has been listed as a new tribal product and this is part of that means this entire process is a part of from our home to your home. So this from our home to your home is an initiative by the MOTA that is Ministry of Tribal Affairs to increase the outreach of tribal products. So these were the most important questions. Now we are going to cover important news events. First is 7th schedule. So recently CIA that is Confederation of Indian Industry recommended that tourism should be included in the concurrent list. What does that mean? See as per the 7th schedule there are three lists union list, state list and concurrent list. In union list whatever items are mentioned Union government that means central government can make laws on this. In state list whatever items are mentioned state government is allowed to make law on these items and in concurrent list both union government and state government are allowed to make law. Next is Akash missile. So recently Akash missile was in use as the union government approved the export of this Akash missile to the friendly countries. So now we will export these missiles to our friendly countries. Now this is a surface to air missile that means this missile will be launched from surface and it is going to hit the target in the air and it has a range of 25 kilometers. As of now it is inducted in IEF that is Indian Air Force and in Indian Army and it has been developed by DRDO. Next is Indian SARS-CoV-2 Genomic Consortia Group. So in simplest term this group has been set up by the government. Why? so that it can track this coronavirus that is SARS coronavirus and it can monitor the genomic variations in this virus. So if there is a new mutant what is the meaning of this term mutant? It means a modified form of this virus. So it is going to trace the modified form and the mutant variations of this coronavirus. Now this initiative will be coordinated by DBT that is Department of Biotechnology and ICMR in association with CSIR. DBT is Department of Biotechnology, ICMR is Indian Council of Medical Research and CSIR is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. Now the information related to this virus will be stored in a database and it is NCDC that is National Center for Disease Control. So this will be the database. Next is Pong Dam Lake. So this lake is in Himachal Pradesh. Why it was in use? Because recently more than 750 migratory birds were found dead. Now again this number is not important for you from exam perspective but this location is important. So this lake is in Himachal Pradesh and it is Ramsar site. Ramsar convention is related to wetland conservation and the most recent entry in this list of Ramsar sites from India is Sokar Lake. It is in Ladakh and now we have 42 sites. Ramsar is the name of place in Iran. Next is BPRND that is 
Bureau of Police Research and Development. So recently it re released the data on police organizations. Now this BPRND is under MHA, that is Ministry of Home Affairs. Headquarters is in New Delhi. Next is Dibru Sikhoa National Park. So this national park is in Assam and this is situated on the south bank of river Brahmaputra. Now why it was in news recently because the Chief Minister of Assam has declared that the forest dwellers will be rehabilitated before 31st of January 2021. What does that mean? See, in this national park, there were a lot of forest communities which used to live in this area. Now, because of the protection, these communities were displaced. So now, Assam government is going to rehabilitate them. Rehabilitation means these communities will be given proper facilities at some other place. Next is Tansen Samman. So, recently, Pandit Satish Vyas was selected for Tansen Samman at World Music Festival. Next is Indra Joseph Venior. So, she was radio broadcaster. She passed away recently. And she was the first English news announcer of Travancore Radio. Next is CCEA, that is Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs. So, recently, this committee approved three major infrastructure projects. These are Krishna Patnam, Industrial Area. So, this project is in Andhra Pradesh. Second is Tumkur industrial area. It is in Karnataka. And third project is in Uttar Pradesh. And this project is multimodal transport hub. So this will be in Greater Noida in Uttar Pradesh. Recently, these three projects were approved by the CCEA, that is Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs. Next is Green Wave. So recently, Argentina was in news as it approved or it legalized abortion after the green wave protest. So this green wave is a movement in Argentina which demanded the rights for the women. Next is Sea of Galilee. So it is in Israel. Why it was in news recently? Because the sea was swelled up. Actually it was drying but because of the recent rains it is recovering and that is why it was in news. The major source of water in the Sea of Galilee is Jordan River. It is also known as Lake Tiprias or Generet. Next is HUL, that is Hindustan Unilever Limited. So recently, in a first for India, Hindustan Unilever has formulated a policy to protect its staff from domestic abuse. That means now, as a part of this policy, it is the responsibility of employer to protect the employee beyond the office. That means to protect the employee in his or her personal life as well. So this is the part of new policy announced by Hindustan Unilever Limited. And last news is related to Mother Teresa Memorial Awards. So these awards were announced recently. And the theme of this year's Mother Teresa Memorial Awards was celebrating compassion in times of COVID. So these were the most important events. Now test. First question is, which country is set to join the sixth member of Five Eyes Alliance? Next is, as a part of Saga 3, Indian naval ship INS Kiltan reached which country to deliver the relief materials? Next is India's first pollinator park has been established in which state? Next question is India's highest meteorological center has been inaugurated in which state or union territory? Next question is the fighter jet of India and which other country is to organize an exercise named Sky Rose? Next question is Indian Railways completed the trial run of new Vista Dome tourist courses manufactured by which unit? So you have to tell the name of manufacturer. Next question is the Municipal Corporation of which state has partnered with UNDP to launch India's first social impact bond? Next question is, who has been nominated to the board of Gavi from India? Next is, what is the name of application launched by Ministry of Earth Sciences for the Ocean Data Management? Next question is, which is the first country to approve Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine? And last question is, the Union Cabinet approved MOU, that is Memorandum of Understanding between India and which country on the peaceful use of outer space. Now let's discuss the test of 1st of January. So who is the youngest mayor? So Arya Rajendran is youngest mayor from Kerala. She became the mayor in Thiruvananthapuram and she is the youngest mayor in India. Next is which state announced that it is going to include the history of Sikh Gurus in school curriculum. So it is state of Uttar Pradesh. Next is Sunil Kothari is associated to which profession? So he was dance historian. Next is which Indian state tabled a bill to abolish all state-run madrasas by converting them in general school. So this has been announced by Assam government. Next question is as per the Directorate General of Foreign Trades, 
ban on export of which product is to be lifted from January 2021. So this product is onion. Next question is on which date the first international day of epidemic preparedness was observed. So this was observed on 27th of December. Next question is India's first vaccine of pneumonia pneumocil has been launched by which pharmaceutical company? So it has been launched by SIA that is Serum Institute of India. And last question is who has been named as ICC male cricketer of the decade and ODI player of the decade. So Virat Kohli is the winner of ICC ODI men's cricketer of the decade and ICC male cricketer of the decade. So that was all for the day. Thank you.